Hey y'all. <laughs> I just had an epiphany this morning about rich white women who don't work. They got all the money in the world, so they're spoiled. But then they're bored and idle hands are the devil's playground. So they get into witchcraft because they ain't got nothing better to do. They got a million dollars, no need to work. Why do, I, why do they need to work? They got money. So they lay in bed all day and all night, think about all the people who have ever done them wrong, said mean things, done mean things, and they hate the whole world. And they start coming up with all this witchcraft, trying to kill every single friend or family member that they've ever had. I'll just say I had a little window into that mindset last night. I know how witches operate now. I know what they do. They hate everybody and everything, but they're fake. On the outside to your face, they're like, oh, hey. Like that phrase I heard in a Bible study. This lady was like, yeah, in the South, people will bake you a pie and then talk about you behind your back to 10 different people. And I was like, oh, that's how it is? Watch out for these rich white women, y'all. They're witches. They got money, they're bored, they don't need to work. So they get into witchcraft and they study witchcraft 24 seven because they don't wanna study something else like the Bible. So they study witchcraft 24 seven so they can get anything that they want. They're greedy. They're usually chubby, overweight women. They want all the money, all the food. They even want all the men and all the women. They're usually bisexual. And you know what? They want all the children too to sacrifice in their satanic rituals. Why? Because I guess they think it's gonna gain them more power. So I got a couple witches right now who are after my son. <laughs> yeah, the sad thing is that they're his blood relatives. Anyways, pray for my son that he'll be safe, that he'll be protected that I will be able to outsmart these witches. You know, people, so many people got money, but no character, no morals, no love for anybody. Are they really rich? Are they rich if they got money? No, you're rich if you have love. If you got at least two, maybe five people that would give their life for you, you're rich. It doesn't matter how much money you have. If you got people that would die for you, you're rich. And there's so many people though where nobody would die for them. Nobody cares if they die. Those are the poorest people in the world. Those are the poorest people. I don't care what their bank account says. Those are the poorest people in the world. Nobody would die for them. Nobody would miss them if they were gone. And everybody secretly in their thought life wants that person to die. <laughs> you know how many people are like that? Yeah, any of you watching this video, you're probably gonna be freaked out. You're probably gonna be like, oh my gosh, how many people secretly want me to die? I don't know, yeah, how about you ask all your friends and family? Do you wish that I was dead? <laughs> Time to take the mask off, right? Time to stop being fake. There's so many fake people out there. So many two-faced people. They act like they're your best friend, but you turn around and they stab you in the back. And maybe you feel it. Maybe you feel the pain. Maybe you realize that it was them who stabbed you in the back, or you don't know. That's the tricky thing about witches. That's the tricky thing about women. You never know who's gonna stab you in the back. You never know who is stabbing you in the back. And you never know why they're stabbing you in the back. Just for no particular reason. They bust out a knife and stab you in the back and you're like, what the heck did I do? Sometimes nothing, sometimes they're just jealous. Sometimes they're literally just jealous because you're so awesome. And all you did was be awesome and work hard, try to raise a family. <laughs> Try to keep your kid healthy and they're jealous and they can't handle it. They can't handle it. They can't handle when one person can do a job that six people did in their family. <laughs> they can't handle it, they get so jealous. They get so jealous and like Cain killed Abel because he was jealous of him. People kill their family members all the time. 
maybe not in actual life, but in their thoughts, in their witchcraft, in their prayers, in their desires. Yeah, and you think someone's your best friend, and then they stab you in the back. Don't ever trust anybody. Especially don't trust women. Even if, you're, even if you're a woman, especially if you're a man, I recommend you do not trust another woman again for the rest of your life. <laughs> don't. Just don't. I know. Should you trust me? I don't know. I don't personally know any of you. <laughs> I don't personally know any of you watching my videos. Anyways. Yeah, and should you trust men? I don't know. The problem with men is that um, you can try and trust them, Unless they're manipulated by women. Especially by women that hate you. But you can try and trust trust that man. You go ahead and you trust that man. But if he's got evil women dictating him, pulling the strings, you probably can't trust him. Right? Does that make sense? Because every woman has some man that she's trying to control. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Every man is trying to control one or multiple men. You know, manipulation. My dad called my brother the king of BS. I think he was probably also the king of manipulation. But women manipulate. You know, they coerce. They try to get whatever they want with, I don't know, temper tantrums. Lying, deceit, gossip. Turning people against other people. You know, just all kinds of games. Women love to play those games. You know? Women are big game players. Yeah, it's like chess. It's like chess. You make a move, they make a move. You make a move, they make a move. <sighs> of course, everybody's hoping for checkmate eventually. But at some, time, at some point, you gotta just stop playing the game. And you just got to say, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to stop playing. I'm tired of playing this stupid game of chess. <laughs> I got other things to do. I got a kid to raise. For the rest of you, I got a job to do. I got to go make money. I'm not going to play this stupid game of chess anymore. <laughs> I'm tapping out. Goodbye. See you later. Don't play the game, y'all. Women, women love to play games. This is why I could never in a million years be a lesbian, because good lord, women play games. Men don't play games. You know what else I thought of? Men never have temper tantrums. Only women and children have temper tantrums. <laughs> I will say, though, I was with three different boyfriends who were kind of gay, effeminate, girly, weak. They had temper tantrums. But two men that I was with were manly men. Those are the two kid, the two men that I had kids with. I never ever saw them have a temper tantrum. Cause real men don't have temper tantrums. You know, you remember that, guys. Yeah, and God love you, men, for not having temper tantrums. God does love you for not having those. Anyways, this, so just watch out for women. Don't play chess with them. 